Hey everyone, it's Megan here, and I am excited to share my occupation-based kit with you. It is planting house plants and thinking through some adaptive strategies for gardening for use with a couple different OT client populations that we'll talk about at the end of the video. But without further ado, let me unpack for you the contents of my box. Um, first of all, I had a lot of fun shopping for these little supplies, especially when thinking about sharing the joy of getting to, yeah, take care of house plants with you. There are so many varieties, you guys, that are so beyond easy to take care of. Um, pothos right here is a great example. It can withstand a ton of neglect, doesn't need a lot of light or water, bounces back amazingly. Um, and a couple of other ones here too that I'll bring on in on Monday for our fair. Um, yeah, whoever wants to claim them, <laughs> feel free. Um, so, second up is terracotta pot with the drainage hole in the bottom. And then I also rounded up some flat rocks in my yard that we're going to line the bottom of the pot with. Sorry for all this noise. And then a um, pair of garden gloves, a little trowel, and a um, bag of soil. So yeah, to get started, like I said, we're just going to take the pot and um, I'm going to place the largest rock just directly over the hole. Grab the others and drop them in around the larger one. Um, slip on my gloves here. So I usually don't mind getting my hands dirty, <laughs> but kind of a fun yellow color for the ball. Um, yeah, grab a good size handful of garden soil and then use your, your hands to work the soil down pretty firmly as well as up around the edges to form a little basin and depression. Um, as probably all of you know, um, grab up your instructions real quick. You can squeeze the edge of the plastic pot to help loosen up the root bed. Lift the plant out. When you set it in, you just want to double check that the soil level isn't up above the top of the pot. Um, so that when you water down the road, um, the water's not running off. So we're looking good here. And then, yeah, one of the last steps is just filling in the soil around the edges of the pot. And yeah, last but not least, taking the garden trowel um, and gently tamping the area of soil that you just put in to make sure that it's nice and, and firmly in there. Um, Maybe I'll add just a bit more to make sure that it's got enough. Um, one little note, we want to make sure that the dirt isn't um, in the stem structures too much um, or else when you water, water will get trapped in there and cause stem rot, which is not what we want. All right, so um, yeah, last up, give it a little bit of water to help the roots newly transplant and readjust to their new home and you are looking good. So, um, gardening, there's a lot of research about back up the reality that it's um, immensely stress relieving. It involves pretty much every aspect of who we are as people, um, you know, our physical body and structures, um, exerting energy, um, keeping our joints nice and mobile, helping us maintain flexibility over the lifespan. Um, engaging us cognitively by thinking through planting seasons and placement of different um, areas of plants or crops um, for optimal growing conditions, um, as well as just engaging our senses and being something of beauty to enjoy and taste even if we're, we're planting fruits and veggies. Um, so a couple of different client populations that came to mind um, the first was um, older people who may suffer from arthritis, but who really want to um, maintain gardening as an activity that's meaningful for them. So we can do a bunch of different things to help um, 
kind of ease their pain and help them conserve energy. So first off, um, garden tools are really easy to adapt by just building up the handle slightly. Here I'm taking a simple kitchen rag, wrapping it around the handle, then taking a rubber band to secure it around and voila, without ordering anything from Amazon, you have a nicely built up tool handle. Um, also, you can encourage them to buy smaller packages of the things that they need, um, including things like soil from the garden center so that they're easier to carry. Um, if they have a hard time standing up for long periods because of the joints in their knees, um, you can suggest that they use a chair for potting houseplants or for watering their, their gardens for extended periods of time. Um, if they have the privilege of designing their planting structures, you can recommend vertical structures so that they won't have to bend down or kneel as much. Of course, if they do, um, you can whip out your kneeling pad and, and offer it to them. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? I think that's kind of about it for the arthritis population. Um, the other one that I thought of would, would just be really fun to work with is um, kids with, with autism symptoms. And so often they are working on integrating their sensory systems and gardening, again, such a full body activity that it'd be so awesome for therapists to get down kind of right in the, the dirt and soil with them and applying like deep pressure to their arms and hands and helping them dig out um, the basins for planting. Um, one really fun twist on this is you can do seeds. And um, I picked up flower seed packets, but um, even better if you could do fruits and veggies as kids with autism often face feeding challenges. And it could be really cool for them to be involved in the whole process of growing something and helping maintain it and thinking about it and watching the new growth and then um, getting to eat it and appreciate it. Um, when I picked out these seeds, the reason, one of the reasons I picked them out is that the seeds inside, you can palpate the bags, um, you can feel that they're big enough to also work on fine motor skills with the kids. Um, so taking individual seeds and planting them and then even um, depending on their capacity to engage with info like this, like even spacing them out um, according to the specifications on the seed packets, and then of course watering or covering back over with dirt, watering. Um, so yeah, it could be a really cool opportunity um, to involve the kids with autism in a really um, fun and relaxing process in life that a lot of us really enjoy, including my old soul. So that is it and that is all for my video. Um, super fun to share with you. I'm looking forward to the fair on Monday. Again, um, yeah, I would be happy for anyone to, to take these little, other little plants off my hands. Um, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. See you later.